I am hunting for a streaming encoder. That's right. That is what I am doing at the moment. And that means that I have to figure out what are the possibilities. And I have narrowed down uh, my ideas to three uh, different devices. To start with the Live View Solo that I have right here. This is the box right there with two additional uh, modems that I have bought separately. Uh, and this is the box. Then I have the the second one, which is this one right here. That is the uh, Pearl Nano by Epifan, and that's the back of it. And the third and last is the Black Magic One Percenter. Now this is not really the web presenter, but it looks so much like it that this is a bit of a yeah, proxy uh, web presenter. This one, this number one here, should say on air. That's basically the only real difference between the three. So that is what we're going to talk about in today's Tech Condo. Before I'm going to talk to you about the three streaming encoders that I have lying in front of me, I actually want to first talk to you about something else, and that is the why. Why am I actually looking for a streaming engine? I mean, I do have vMix, right? So this is just vMix, and that is a streaming encoder. Um, but also, I have the possibility to have the ATEM Mini stream by itself. So what's the point? Well, the real point is actually maybe a little bit shocking, but the real point is that I actually have a network right here that is based on the network protocols and therefore it can be a little bit, uh, let's say, not so safe if it comes to uh, external traffic uh, that are from hackers or something like that. So I want to prevent that from happening and that's why because of this all of these cat uh, network uh, cables here, I'd like to have a red area here, a demilitarized zone or a firewall that makes sure that nothing can happen to the production. Now, the only signal that goes from this part to this part is just video. There is no network cable involved at all. And that means that I can actually use a separate device for streaming. Now, of course, I can use a laptop for that, but then a laptop on the internet, is that really safe? I don't think so. So that's the reason why I'm looking for something that is dedicated for streaming. Um, and that is the first reason. There's actually also a second reason, and that is basically the power that it uses for streaming um, is that much that I actually either need to purchase a bigger computer, so not possible to do that on a laptop or something like that. Or uh, alternatively, it might not be so stable because of all the processes that are running on a laptop or a computer that can hinder the processing of your video signal. So those are the reasons why I've chosen uh, not to um, go uh, directly via my laptop or via the A10 Mini, because the A10 Mini is not really possible because of all of the uh, uh, network traffic that I use, right? So that is uh, the reason. Now, uh, I have uh, lying in front of me three uh, options. Like I said prior, I got the Live View right here. Uh, I've got the FFN Pearl Nano right there. And I've got, well, this is a stand in, but this is what the uh, web presenter roughly looks like from Black Magic Design. Now, what I have done is that I've nailed uh, all. I've made uh, a, a overview of all three of the the systems, and just I am going to walk you through that overview so that you can decide if this is something that you like for yourself. So the first thing, of course, the money, because hey, I'm Dutch, and money, well, you know, what they say, double Dutch, etc. Anyway, live view, right here. The Live View uh, Solo is actually uh, it, this device right here, and it will cost you 995 euros to purchase this device. It doesn't come with any modems, so the modems you need to purchase yourself as well, and these cost are roughly 60, 70 uh, dollars a piece. So that is also what you need to, uh, to have there as well. Now, out of the box, without any um, um, subscription, you can go live with this one, but only with one 
uh, modem at the time. Not all three of them or all four of them. There are four possibilities on this system. Um, in order to make that happen, you do need to purchase LRT, Live View Reliable Transport, and that will cost you 450 euros per year or 45 euros per month to get that organized. Personally, I do use uh, the Live View Solo still. Uh, I do pay those 45 euros per month, but only uh, when I need it. So it's not every month. Next to that, I have the Pro Nano right here, and that will cost you uh, $14.99. Now, focus, please. Come on, focus, focus, focus. It's not focusing today. Now, all right. Let me try it like this then. Ah, there you go. $14.99. That is uh, this price, uh, this uh, system here. Uh, and it does come with a FFN cloud, but you do not need the FFN cloud to have this system operated. You don't need that. Um, but for a 192 euros per month you have the pro version and that has a lot of additional features and then last but not least uh, this is a stand-in again the web presenter by blackmagic and that will cost you 525 euros to get that organized well that is not the most expensive one hence that's got uh, that one gets the nod for this book sec segment next segment is of course the most important segment of all, streaming. And these are some of the protocols that uh, I have been looking into. So RTMP, RTPM, RTMPS, those are the one, the, that's the protocol for Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, the whole uh, shebang. And all three of them use it. So that's great. Uh, with the exception that the solo, this one right here actually has the possibility to connect via the Facebook API and YouTube API. And that does mean that it actually is a little bit easier to use for people. Uh, with the Pearl Nano, for example, you have uh, the, the need to fill in the URL and that's basically all, all that you have there, which is not a great experience, but it is there nevertheless. The web presenter also has the possibility. Uh, what it, what the web presenter does is that you can have pull down Facebook, YouTube, etc., but you still need to fill in the full uh, um, streaming key. So it's roughly the same experience as the uh, Pro Nano. HLS, that's the uh, Apple's uh, streaming uh, uh, protocol that solely uh, works on the Pro Nano. So, well, basically that's great. Uh, SRT, uh, Secure Reliable Transport, also only on the Pearl Nano. And we, I have a separate video on that, uh, on that whole uh, configuration on the Pearl Nano. Really good uh, implementation. And it's not really streaming, but let's just call it webcam streaming. That's available on Web Presenter HD. Again, stand-in. Uh, why is that so important? Because it is really easy to uh, connect this device to either Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Skype. It acts as a webcam and that makes it very easy to talk to your corporate uh, clients. So that is that for you. Next up, network connections. And here is where uh, the solo is really the king. Um, like I said, I have not one, not two 4G modems. I actually can have a, a third uh, Wi-Fi modem. So just either your phone or a separate Wi-Fi uh, modem. And third, a network Cat5, Cat6 uh, connection. And yes, there are modems that actually can be connected via this port. So like for example, the um, Nighthawk M1. But, uh, so th that is really cool. And what is also cool is that if you purchase the LRT uh, subscription, it will bond all four of them together. So if one of them loses a uh, connection, all three of them will take over and you will not see that. That is stellar. So the failover is really stellar on the Solo. Hence, the, that one gets the, the nod in, in this uh, uh, product. The Pro Nano only has the ability to connect to the Ethernet, it doesn't allow for Wi-Fi connections, and does not allow for um, 4G connections. So you do need to get a separate uh, modem for that. 
Then you've got the web presenter HD by Blackmagic. And of course, that also is using the Ethernet uh, um, connection. Uh, but there is also the possibility for an automatic failover. If you would hook up and here you have a USB port right here. If you would hook up your phone, either Android or uh, iOS will do, both of them will do. Uh, you can make sure that if your network drops, it will automatically go to your phone for your, um, for your bundle, for your data bundle. So that is definitely a good experience there for you. Um, Okay, so that is the network connection. Now let's move on to video inputs. Um, now for uh, the solo, uh, this one right here only allows for HDMI, but there is a exact same product available, but then it has HDMI or, very important, or SDI. So HDMI or SDI. Um, USB, uh, webcams, etc. is not possible. Pearl Nano does allow for HDMI and for SDI, so the, you have the possibility to uh, utilize this SDI connection right here to your for your SDI cable. You can use this HDMI right here for um, an HDMI a camera or your laptop. It can be passed through to your uh, mode uh, your uh, monitor uh, at location. Um, and there is also a possibility to uh, share the program out, so the end result via HDMI as well, and that's that for you. So that is really cool for that. Um, the webcam is, I think, pending update at the moment. It does not work on the uh, on that system um, for the video input. I mean, uh, then Web Presenter HD only can do SDI input. Again, I kind of show you the back because it's not really the web presenter, but hey, <laughs> my <laughs> that's, that's okay. Then video outputs. Um, solo is very easy, no video output, period. There you go, nothing. Uh, Pearl Nano, it has one PGM output, so program output, and one uh, loop output that I showed you just uh, a few seconds ago. And the web presenter is really powerful. It has an output, though not really the program uh, that is the monitoring, uh, but it also allows for a SDI loop through, and that is the program, of course. And then, of course, you can uh, use the webcam features so, so that you can uh, push it to a computer. So that's still possible also on the web presenter. So that's cool. Moving on to uh, audio inputs, and this is where I would say only the Pearl Nano really shines because the Pearl Nano actually has professional dedicated audio uh, features, like for example, these two XLR cables right here or the RCA cables right here. That is something that the, both other, uh, the, the, the other uh, applications do not use. So there you go. Definitely a winner, Pearl Nano, right here. Next up, miscellaneous. Now, so these are just some throw-ins that are interesting to uh, talk about. Remote control, the Solo has a tremendously good remote control. Uh, it has the Live View uh, portal, and that's where you can, uh, the Solo portal, I mean, you, that's where you can uh, create the destination using the APIs, you can monitor your signal, you can basically see what the system is doing, which is great. Uh, a bit less, but still good. That's a Pearl Nano. It has a, it has a very business-like um, web interface. It does do its job. Yes, it does. But uh, you do need to have a little bit more technical knowledge uh, to, to know what you're doing. Um, the web presenter does not have a web interface. It does have a USB interface, but that's not remote. That's literally uh, stand, standing next to it, right? Then recording, the Pro Nano does have the ability to record either on a M M2 SSD or a SD right here or a separate USB um, a storage device, like for example, a hard drive. So it's really, really powerful if it comes to recording uh, locally. Um, and also it has the possibility to um, 
uh, act as an FTP server, but it can also push directly to your content management system. So definitely a very, very capable system right there for you. Last but not least, uh, the uh, uh, Pearl Nano also has the ability to combine the SDI input and the HDMI input into, and then add a backdrop and some text in front of it to make it really a nice uh, picture in picture. Uh, that is definitely something that, it, that the other two does not, do not have. And this one, the Pearl Nano does have. Okay. So that means that we're at, at the end. And that's of course that we have a conclusion. If you look at the solo, we've got nine times that it has a, su a success uh, and if you look at the solo, if you networking is really, really important to you, then please go ahead and go to the solo. It's really a good uh, feature. And again, I'm still using it. I love it for that. The portal experience is great, uh, but it does not have a lot of additional flex flexibility. Like for example, uh, adding professional audio or adding, adding the possibility to uh, also um, um, send the video locally. For example, it's not possible only via the live view uh, environment. Next uh, to that is the Pearl Nano. It's really future, uh, uh, future uh, rich. Uh, you can really do a lot. Uh, a lot of protocols are, are available. SRT, for example, to bring in remote guests. HLS, the Apple streaming platform that you can also use uh, with YouTube in the future as well. Um, multiple inputs. Uh, well, great, great product, definitely uh, there. Failover wise, network failover wise, it's not the best. It's actually the worst of the three. Then you've got the web presenter, actually not doing very well as well. This is the second place, uh, and it's the cheapest encoder by far. It's actually uh, you can buy three of these for one of the others. So that is definitely uh, something to take into account. Um, but a serious side note is that it's not really that different than a ATEM Mini Pro because that one by itself actually can do exactly the same as the web presenter HD, uh, apart from one thing, and that's the monitoring feature. All of the other stuff is exactly the same. So what do, what do you think? Are you interested in buying a separate streaming encoder? Um, I hope that you liked it. It's a quite a fast uh, video to make. Um, also wanted to make it as live as possible just to, to, to speed uh, things up so that you get this video as soon as I, I can get it. And I hope that you liked it. Uh, again, if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and subscribe to this uh, channel for future content. And of course, you can hit the bell icon uh, there as well. Then you know that you get uh, notified. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.